<laughs> yeah. I don't know why I feel like I have to smell good whenever I come on, <laughs> which is really crazy. It's like a bad habit. I got something in my hand. Maybe. <laughs> Um, where is Swizzy? Exclusive interview with Swizzy Styles. There you go. Be like, I'm in there now. I don't see you, darling. Now I see you. Okay. Hello. How's it going? Can you hear me good? Yeah, I can actually. You look super clear. I love it. I do. <laughs> well, I mean, usually people be having, they be having a whole bunch of stuff going on. So thank yeah, you. I, know. Yeah, I appreciate I know. that. Okay. Of course. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah. Why is it be like that? Let me turn the raises up. Damn crazy. Because I'm like crazy, crazy. Okay, so those are tuning in for the first time. We got Swizzy Styles. Did I say it right? Um Slick Talk Swizzy. And I use Swizzy Styles sometimes. Okay. So it's it's Slick Talk. You actually do by your Instagram name. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was confused because it says uh, Swizzy Styles profile, so I thought that was yeah. the actual name. Yeah. So it's Slick Talk. Yes, Slick ma'am. Talk. Slick Talk Swizzy. Okay. Slick Talk uh, Swizzy. I seen you on um I um no Clubhouse, and you was talking um talking. You see me with in the Clubhouse? Was it you in the Clubhouse? Oh. That was you. Yeah, I was in Clubhouse. Why do that to them girls? <laughs> huh? I I ain't do nothing to them girls. Really now, I should it, should we replay the Instagram post? Oh, uh, oh, oh, nah, that wasn't me. That was one of my friends. Did, when, you know, all right, so like you, I'm sure you like been on uh, like on Clubhouse, and you know like the Cash App room where they be like Cash Apping girls for, for just for nothing. Like, and my homeboy made like a skit out of it, and it was hilarious. He went in one of those rooms, and he was acting like he was going to get money. It was hilarious. Yeah, that's what I. That's I thought that was you though. Nah, everybody thinks it's me. It's not me. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, he out there playing these girls out. <laughs> but you know what? Somebody need to, because I think that's like out of pocket. 
Look, doing I mean, to eat your own every um. So girls be like, so what if they do that? So what if they do that? I mean, yeah, but it's still, it's still lowering, lowering, lowering standards. It's like you know, but you know. Yeah, yeah. Um. So for those who do not know, tuning in for the first time, like I said, we got slick talk, uh, Swizzy. That's. Back. Mm-hmm. All right. So, um, where are you from? Are you from New York? Actually, I am. Um, I was. I'm from here. I was born and raised. I was actually. I was born here. I went to um, DR when I was a little kid. Came back when I was like eight, nine years old. I've mm-hmm. been here ever since. My my mother's Dominican. My father's Haitian. So yeah, I was about oh. to say because you got you got some good hair going on. <laughs> I mean, even though it looked like it's like, but you can tell good hair. Oh yeah. I, I, listen, <laughs> listen, I try. Okay, that's what's up. What the hair looking like? What you got braids under there? You got waves? Um, it's it's kind of like push. It's to the back right now, so like slick oh, back. Oh, you right got now. the slick. You got the ponytail in the back. Oh. In the back. Usually, <laughs> usually, um, usually I'm told that people like the man bun, but I'm getting tired really? of it. Yeah, a lot of people like the man bun. I'm getting tired of it though. So I started braiding my hair. Super and long. It's kind of long. Yes, it's, it's like the middle of my back. It's kind of long. You going? You going to ever cut it? I want to dread it, actually. Dread it out. Yeah, I want to dread it. People always want to do that to their hair. <laughs> like, I'm not. I don't want to cut it. I don't want to cut it. If I cut it, I'm gonna get like super waves and stuff like that. But um, I'm, I want to get dreads. I want to get dreads, man. I'm gonna dread my hair. <sighs> okay. All right. So, um, what you got going on? Because I know you know. I know you I want got to a, usually if you want to go like um, the interview. They got something going on. What you got going on? I got. I, I just did a project called um, "What I Want" um, with one of my homeboys. Actually, family. I just found out he was family not too long ago. It's crazy. I know him for like ten years, and I just found out that he was family. So you know, but I did a project with him. Um, his name is S Five Fifty. Um, it's called "What I Want." It's it's a really really dope track. I just did a video um, for that. Um, one of my homeboys. Uh, meet the connect he's real he's real like known for like shooting videos and stuff like that his name is stack pesos meet mm-hmm. the connect he shot the video for us and it was it was really it was really cool it was a successful video right and i'm waiting for that what do you want what do you want in it what are you saying you want in there what I, at this point all right so like, <laughs> like, always, everybody want dudes want pussy yeah. money like at this point cars. yeah i mean uh it's there. It's there. Yeah, yeah. Like that's the ultimate. Like you know, Go. like thought. Like of course, everybody wants a big car, big chain, big that. This and that. But like at this point, I'm a little bit like older. I'm a little bit like wiser. It's kind of like right. more like a family thing for me. So it's like I don't want to. I want to leave a legacy when I when I when I pass away. When I like you know, my generation. I want to leave a legacy for my kids and stuff like that for right. my parents, for my you know for my family. Um, at first, it was about the cars. It was about the money. It was about the girls and this and that, this and that. But it's like, it's like there's a lot of stuff behind that. Well, that's for another time. There's a lot of stuff behind all that jewelry and all the cars. And it ain't really happiness to that, you know. Mm-hmm. But um, I I do it because I'm I love I love music. I love to rap. You know, I love to make dope music. And the ultimate goal is to take care of my family and you know, right. leave a legacy for them. What what do they think about you rapping and everything? Um, my daughter is like, she's she, she it's it's kind of new to her. I have a fourteen year old. She's it's kind of like new to her. She doesn't really, you know, um, she's not really into like hip hop and stuff like that. But she she's cool. My baby mom's my daughter's mother supports me a lot. <laughs> um, my son um my son is my big my biggest fan. He loves my music. Mm. And yeah, he loves my music. Um. Everybody supports me. Everybody supports me. My mom is kind of shocked. My mom's like, "You want to be a music? You want to be a rapper?" And this and that, and right. all these tattoos because I got like tattoos and stuff. And How she's like, "Over it, you got? huh?" How many tattoos you got? I got a sleeve, and I got a couple of here. Um, I got some here. I got one here. I got one in the back of my neck. I got a few. I got a few. Wait, which one hurt the most? Because I never had one in my neck. I got my chest and my stomach. The elbow, the elbow, the elbow is crazy. Yeah, I have like a web on my elbow. It's crazy. Yeah, boom, right there. It was crazy. <laughs> but believe it or not, the other ones, I actually fell asleep. Really? Yeah, I fell asleep. Um, on the arm? Was, yeah, on the arm, I fell asleep. I was like, uh, it was crazy. 
because I went to the dude and we smoked and stuff like that, and I actually fell asleep doing it. It was this right here. It's like well, a bomb. A little, it's a little bit of muscle right there, like little, <laughs> little fat, fatty areas. It's not too <laughs> what is that? It's is it like, I can't tell. It's like a bomb? A top? <laughs> Uh-oh, you went black on me. What happened? Okay. Oh. Oh, hopefully he'll come. There you go. Yeah, but, um. Yeah. That's it. I fell asleep and I woke up. When I woke up, he was like shading in. The area, I'm like, what the hell's going on? And I just real, I'm realized, like, I'm getting a tattoo. I forgot I was getting a tattoo. What did you say it was? It blurred out for a second. It's a bomb. It's like a bomb. Oh yeah, bomb. that's what it's, it looked like. Okay. I'm yeah, gonna... it's like a bomb. It's called. It's like a clothing line called the Hundreds. I'm a real like clothing type dude. I'm a real fashion dude. So it's um, it's it's a clothing line called the Hundreds, and it's like the bomb. And I always loved the logo, so mm -hmm. I got a tattoo. Okay. Do you do anything else besides rap? Actually, I do. Um, I'm a reseller. I resell sneakers, and, um, streetwear, like Supreme really? and stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, you like that guy on that um that sitcom? It's like uh, I think it's on Netflix. Netflix. Where he buys sneakerheads. Yeah. yeah sneakerheads, That's yeah. what you do. Yeah, I, I resell sneakers. Yeah. Wow. It looks so exciting. I, it's it's hard. It's hard. It looks hard. It's not you easy. almost lost everything. Huh? The guy, the guy, um, the sitcom. He almost lost mm -hmm. everything doing that. Yeah, it's hard if you don't know what you if you don't know what you're doing. It's kind of like hard because you have to know people in that in this field. You have to know people. You don't you don't have to, but to get like the really good good stuff, you have to know people. You know, mm -hmm. you can't really do it yourself. You got to make connections. You got to meet people. You got to go to conventions. Um, you got to flirt with managers. For it? Yeah, they have sneaker conventions, sneaker con. Really, I never yeah. knew. I didn't know it was that deep. Yeah. Really? Oh, it's so, um, mm -hmm. all right. So I would say, um, the secondary market, like, um, stock I don't know if you heard of like stock X, go grailed all this other stuff. Um, mm -hmm. so this is what the resellers do. The resellers go and they put their um, items on stuff like, like the secondary market, um, uh, stock X and all this stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's worth $2.5 billion right now. The sneaker business is last year. It was worth $2.5 billion in the next three years. It's going to be worth $6 billion. So it's something that I love and it's something that's very like, um, um, successful. So why not get into it? Well, so how, that's what I've been doing. how did you get into it? I love sneakers. I From love the shoes. Beginning, as a I child? love shoes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. like, um, well, my sister actually got me into style, but sneakers I always loved. Um, mm -hmm. um, so I would get all these Jordans and stuff like that. And I just grew up loving Michael Jordan. I'm like, it's a bromance with me and Michael Jordan. So I grew up <laughs> loving Mike. I grew up loving Mike. So I always had to have his shoes, especially like the, like the, like the real retro ones that like, can't, that's coming back out. All the new colors is like, no, no for me. But I was always like on it. So one day I just decided like, you know, everybody kept asking me, where you get your, your sneakers from? Like, where you getting those from? How'd you get those? How'd you get those? So I was like, if you can't get it and you're willing to pay, so I just, Started, you know, selling. Them. And you can get anybody any sneaker, any size. Not any, not any sneaker. I'm not gonna say <laughs> I'm a huge plug. I'm not DJ Khaled. I'm not gonna say I'm the huge plug, but I do, I, I do, I do my numbers. Yeah. Like, you work um, with like, him Huh? You said you work with him before? No, no. I said I'm not DJ Khaled. I don't have all this oh, huge oh. sneaker stuff. Um, I'm not still in the meeting, like how he always say. But uh, right. yeah. Well, you I, got the I, money. Huh? He got the money though. It's Whatever. it's but it's kind of like it, it makes its own money because if I buy five pairs of shoes, it takes money to make money. But if I let's say you invest and I buy, I spend a thousand dollars on five pairs of shoes, and I know well, that the what? shoe a thousand. Yeah, yeah. The shoe, they, let's say the shoe is um. Let's say the shoe is two hundred dollars each, and I spend I spend a thousand dollars on on a pair mm -hmm. on on you know five pairs of shoes, um, and well. For. um and you know you sell the sneakers at about 300 bucks 400 bucks even more sometimes the shoe will be about a thousand dollars and you what? make a, yeah you make a huge profit you make a huge profit and i started doing that with um with clothing too like on um, this is clothing line called chrome hearts i started selling chrome hearts because you know i get it i get it at a but have, you get, you have you ever been stuck with some sneakers before that? absolutely absolutely yeah. those are called those are called bricks 
where you think you think the the shoe is going to do a lot and you kind of stuck with a lot of inventory and that happened to me a couple of times and what do you do with the bricks i i kind of like sell them for retail or a little bit over retail or i'll go to like the stores that that buys because the stores that buy they kind of be like trying to beat people in the head so i'll just be like that's like my last resort i'll go sell for a little bit over over retail or stuff like that mm. yeah. do you I'm have the go. with the people that's like working at um you know the stores or whatever to where you can like get them right. from there or whatever right so yeah. you can't you can't really get a discount on them because that's like mm -hmm. you have to have like a nike contract to get them discounted and stuff like no, that no i mean on the slide on the, <laughs> on the, now, I I, on so the slide like, with the, the employees yeah so what i would do is i would it's not something it's not mostly intentional but sometimes it is i would flirt with the managers and people that i know that i could right you know, get them from get kind of information from and like stuff like that so i would like you know flirt with them and be cool with them i'll take people number and oh do you want a coffee do you want something to drink you know stuff like that <laughs> and, and then i end up you know i end up being cool people and i get information that other people that other people don't right. and um it seems interesting one. that whole lifestyle because the whole it's, sitcom i watched the whole thing like this is crazy we yeah. people risk their whole life yeah. Yeah. you know it's hard it's hard but it, it's yeah. it's hard to get certain shoes but it's not hard to start at all it's not hard to start at all you can start with 100 bucks it's really not hard to start at all mm -hmm. um but it's it's the certain um level of you shoes got a fake you get. pair before you ever got a fake pair? oh yeah you oh, did yeah I, got, <laughs> yeah I got caught with fake Travis Scott's. i got caught with fake yeezys it happens all right, well, how, how do you know what's the real nike sneaker from a knockoff i mean it, it's experience experience um sometimes they're blatantly disgusting looking and you could just tell like oh no that ain't it but um yeah. it's, it's, with, it's, it's with experience because like a young kid or somebody that's just starting or or you know like a like a, a a baby boomer type person that doesn't really know something about shoes they'll end up buying some shoes and they think it's real and they don't know it's, it's all about experience so yeah you, you know i learned i got the eye for it now and um there's a lot of like legit checks and like there's apps and stuff that really legit checks your stuff so you can't really, really? it's hard to get mm -hmm. scan it and then uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um wow. places like the secondary markets like StockX, um um eBay, they have like a verification thing where they verify your shoes before you sell them. You know, they do what? get a percentage. Yeah, they do get a percentage, but they verify your shoes so you don't get fake shoes. Mm -hmm. mm. What about the the shoes like um you know, signature? Do you sell them too or oh no, no. those that's a that's next level. That's, that's next, next level, level shit. Yeah, okay. that's next level. You I'm should go regular. to the arena and get them. I'm just a regular reseller. Yeah. He like, nah, I ain't got time for all that. Yeah. <laughs> that's um, like, what I want that for real. Yeah, that's next Especially level. Especially if you one get a friends. picture or something of it. Yeah, like, I, I, I've yeah. met I've met a few uh, I met a few um people like when I went to um the conventions and stuff like that. I met like J C Lopez and um um Seth Fowler, um mm -hmm. sneaker influencers, people like that. I met a few people. Right. Um, I actually got to sell. Um, I actually sold a pair, of, um, a couple of pairs of sneakers to the, the the person that invented sneaker con. This this Asian dude, stuff like that. And I I didn't, I didn't even know who I was speaking to. Right. I'm selling this millionaire dude some sneakers, and I didn't even know it was him. You know, that's how it is. That's how it is. That's dope. Yeah. But that life seems more exciting than rap. You got to figure out how to incorporate those. It's pretty easy because there's like um, because like fashion and and music kind of goes hand in hand. Right, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, fashion and music kind of goes hand yeah. in hand, and and there's um, there's like sneaker resellers that's, that are, that that are cool with um influencers and 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 entertainers and rappers and stuff like that, and they get to they get the opportunity to sell them sneakers, right. and stuff like that. Because you, know I'm what? trying to get I'm, there. No, now now I'm thinking ideas for you because I'm like, look, if you got a dope sneakers, right, then you could do like some kind of raffle for the sneakers. Wow. Your into thing. your music but they gotta buy or they gotta buy your cd so they can get the raffle so it's like a two-in-one type of thing yeah i was thinking so i was i was gonna start like a clothing line um yeah. and i was well, my homeboy Fabi actually did that he started like a clothing line and stuff like that i don't know if he's giving away a few things but mm -hmm. I, that's what i wanted to do i wanted to um start like a clothing line or give away shoes stuff like that the first 50 people to 
you know, repost this or the first people to do this, da, 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 you get a pair, free pair of shoes and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah. Um, I always thought people about, always I always want to win stuff. Huh? People always want to win stuff. So, yeah, you know, yeah. Um, <laughs> speaking of the raffles, um, my homeboy does that. He'll like raffle off shoes. He'll get three times more than what he paid for it. So like, yeah, let's that's say what I'll, I'm saying. Uh huh. Let's say like I'll get a pair of shoes for a hundred bucks and I raffle this off and the entry is twenty five dollars and it's like 30, 30, 30 slots. You just made your money. That's times what I'm three. Yeah. To, yeah. 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 So the person, the per, so it's like when it's win win. The person want a pair of shoes for twenty five bucks and you just made just your sneaker money three times over. Yeah, that's what I would be doing. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to say. like yeah. work it out. Yeah, it's really you know? cool. But okay, so we gotta talk about because. Speaking of fashion, right? Wear the man purse. I don't know if you call it a man purse. Yeah, yeah. I see it a lot on throughout your page, and I'm trying to figure out what's going on with it because you know some I, guys ridicule for it. Um, um. All right. So there's two types. There's one that's actually for the fashion, and there's one that's not for the fashion. There's one that's sure. like there's like. You know, the Supreme ones, they're awful fashion, if you want to be technical. They're awful fashion. But what we use them for, there's, like, the Supreme ones. There's the regular ones that people just regularly wear. Like, you know, um, people like me, I, I like to step out the box and, like, you know, dress different. So I would wear, like, the man, the, like the you know, like, the little pouches and stuff like that. But there's, like, yeah. the, the other ones. It's, like, the Louis ones and the Dior ones and stuff like that that the, you know, the rich people are wearing. It's just, the, <laughs> it's just for money. They will just, it's just to pull out. It's just to have money. In. That's it. Like, literally just right. for money. Well, you know, some men, they, they be like, uh, -uh. you know, because it's actually going over the shoulder. <laughs> Listen, Listen you know? I love fashion. I love fashion. I love to be, I love to step outside the box. Um, So nobody can't tell me how to dress or what to wear. I, I don't and, think nothing's wrong with it, but I know some guys, they be yeah. like, well, you wear the purse or whatever. You know, like Teach the, your own. Um, Teach your own. Whatever. Yeah. Cause I like I like wearing my little um fanny pack, you know. What I'm saying? Right, right. Like but, it's not I mean, wrong. It's, it's not wrong expensive. with it. Yeah, it's not wrong with fanny packs. It's not wrong with it. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm. That's what. I'm, okay, so as far as like new music out, like you got the you got a mixtape out. Um. Uh, okay, so the last um single I dropped was dropping on the 29th. Um. Uh, I did that through United Masters. It's dropping on the 29th. What I did was I, I kept dropping like singles. I kept dropping like singles and like little tracks and stuff like that. So like people could like actually know me and hear me and stuff like that. So now I would say before thanks before um uh what's that Valentine's Day. Before Valentine's mm -hmm. Day, I already got my cover made, I already did my track list, stuff like that. I'm gonna be dropping an uh, EP. Before, a little bit before Valentine's Day. So as soon as this video dropped, because I just did the video last week, like I'm trying to do it all like simultaneously so I can hit them back to back, like the track, the video, the album, you know, stuff like that. So right. that's how I'm doing, back to back. So it's in like probably like the next two weeks, everything should be out. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you do all your stuff like that in a row? Um, Kind of, kind of. Mm -hmm. I kind of sometimes I'll get I'll get lazy sometimes because I have so much other things to do like the sneakers and my children and stuff like that, but right. I try to stay focused on it. Right. I try to stay focused on it. How important is the video aspect? Because a lot of people. Like, it's kind of very focus. very important. Okay, so like um I could put out ten ten songs, and you know nobody really knows who I am, but the song. But if you put out ten songs and ten videos. Now you're getting somewhere because now it's a, it's a face to the to the music and right. Um, it doesn't even have to be good. The music doesn't even have to be good, um, so to say. Like as long as you keep putting out visuals and people know you and you just keep throwing your face out there, you're gonna end up somebody. Somebody's gonna end up liking something that you put out there. There's a group of people that's gonna end up liking something. You're gonna get some type of clout. So what about TikTok? Do you do the TikTok thing? TikTok is. <laughs> the biggest platform to get signed right now to me to me i think tiktok is like the biggest to platform deal? to get a, to, to get your music out there because because okay. like you know you know like the people it's, it's the people the people make the people give you the people make you go viral so mm -hmm. if you have a fire song and you put that out on like i had a song called um um same nigga and 
it came out, um, I'll say like last year, um, a year and a half ago. And if I knew about TikTok last year, I would have been put that out there. It would have went, it would have went crazy. It got a little bit of recognition from when I put it out. So if I would have put it out on on TikTok, it would have went crazy. I would say everybody that puts their music on TikTok, like, like I would say like 80, 90 percent of the music that's been hits now, it it drilled in your head from TikTok. Mm, so, true. That's true. Like. Like Megan Thee Stallion and you know everyone, uh, uh, um, uh, Cardi B, everybody, Whoopty, you know all all them right. songs, all of them songs are drilled in your head through TikTok. So yeah, TikTok right. is a big is a huge platform right now. Are you are you trying to get a deal or what, what's the situation you seeing? Um, that's the ultimate goal, but um, right now I'm trying to get. The, the recognition that I, I think I deserve. I, I think I deserve to, to, to be known. Uh, my talent deserves to be out there. Um, mm-hmm. I hit a, I, I hit a couple of bumps where I thought, you know, I thought people would have, you know, had my back and, you know, support me and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, all you got is you. So I, that's what I had to learn. So I had to start off with a clean slate on my, on, you know, just for me. And right now my main goal is to, is to, get myself out there to be okay. to be recognized and stuff like that and um exposure the ultimate, more so. huh? yeah. exposure yeah exposure exposure yeah. and then you know we could talk about a deal or indep- or independent i could go independent mm. um you know but the ultimate goal when is you get bumped right. in a row what, what, what kind of bumps because you know like this is your lifestyle everybody ain't going always um i would say like um but, people that people that you thought people that you think you have in your corner People that you think that's gonna support you, people that you think that's gonna help you, um, even people that's on a higher, that's like you know, that's kind of like more established than you are. You would think that you know, as a friend, um, you would think that you know they would try to get you as get you the same recognition that they have, or try to help you get to that certain level because we're all we all know each other, you know, stuff like that. Why not try to why not try to help you know you get to the next level and we all eat together and we all chill together and stuff like that. And, it didn't happen like that. I thought that's what it was going. I thought that's what was going. Yeah, happen. it usually does it. <laughs> it didn't happen like right. that, so I was like, okay, cool. I'll make my own. So that I think you know what I think that makes artists turn to a rapper when they think people are going to help them all the time, or they, mm-hmm. think, you know, you're going to do this and you're going to help me and you're going to do, and it turns them mad and it makes them angry and. Yeah. Everybody somewhat, you know, but once you realize, like, okay, nobody's gonna help me on my own, yeah. then, you know, I used to be like that too. I'd be like, well, you just won't come help me do the show, <laughs> and then right. they just all oh, don't show up. Then I had to learn how to do everything all on right. Yeah, yeah. It gets like that sometimes. Yeah. You turn into this angry person. Like, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy because yeah, I know people that. How long? How long you been in the game? I've been, I've been I've took it I I just started taking it I started taking it seriously about two years ago. Uh-huh. I've been always uh I've been always trying to rap and freestyle and stuff like that and do you know um you know try to make little music here and there and stuff like that. But two years ago I kind of took it seriously. Right. New York is a little <laughs> difficult. They're a little tougher. What you, you said? Know. I said New York is a little bit tougher. A lot tougher. A lot yeah. tougher because everybody's a rapper. Everyone yeah. is a rapper out here, even females. <laughs> Everyone's a rapper. So and everybody's on the same sound. So um when people are on the same sound, um you yours have to be very, very good to stand out. So that's it's a it's a competition right now. It's a huge competition right now. So yeah. if your music is good, it'll speak for itself. And and people the fans are the ones that give you the clout. The the fans are the ones that get you where you want to be. The fans. Facts. Okay. How are you gonna stand out from all of others though? Like my, I think my style. I think my style. Um, because I kind of, I kind of, I would say, I don't have the same sound. Like I didn't, like I didn't like adopt the whole thing. I kind of like mm-hmm. kept a little bit of my old sound, and you know, um added you know the little drill into it um but i would say my style my style is is kind of like different from other rappers and the way i stand out um the way i speak you know i don't um, speak 
<laughs> you don't act ghetto, right? Um, I wouldn't say ghetto, but I know, <laughs> oh. how, to, I know how to turn it off. I know how to yeah, turn right? it off. I know how to, you know, I could, I could sit, I could sit at a table with a bunch of executives and a bunch of people that that's gonna change my life and actually, um, um, you know, talk about my future, devise my future on this piece of paper before I actually sign it. You know, mm-hmm. but some people don't have that type of knowledge, and you know. So, yeah, I was yeah, my style mostly, most mostly my style. I love, I love, you know, being being different, standing outside the box, um, like right. Travis Scott, Tiana Taylor type style and stuff like that. So yeah, she got a different style. If you had to, yeah. if you had to switch positions with any well known rapper out right now, big, big or small, who would you want to switch positions with, and they come in position? They you going up and they coming back to you. Who would you switch with? Anybody. Um, somebody that's like like really doing it right now. Yeah, anybody. It could be anybody you want to switch positions with. Who would you want to switch with? Um, that's tough. <laughs> that's tough. I would have to say. I would have to say um, he's not a really huge, he's not a really huge um, rapper. He's not he well he's he's really well known, but I would have to say um, Chef G. Chuck G. Chef G. Chef G. Oh, Chef G. Yeah, I love what they're doing. I love I, I okay. love what they're doing. Like that winner circle, I love what they're doing there. I don't know if they're independent. No, I don't know. They're not independent, but they started like their own little like group, their little like you know label and blah blah. And like, I love what they're doing. And and if I could, you know, if I could really get my hands on Chef G and what he's doing and you know that type of stuff. Uh, Chef G I, coming uh, to where you at and you going, you switching with him, you taking over his spot. Just like uh, what is that? Sorry, do you know the game? Sorry, where you be like, boop, bump him out, yeah. and gotta go yeah. back. Yeah, kind of like I, I would have to say I would. Yeah, I would have to say Chef G. Chef I think G. he's he's he, he's doing it really smart right now. He's doing okay. it really smart, and he's not really like jumping on everybody's bandwagon and 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 you know trying to sound like everybody else and do what everybody else is doing. He's really really opening up his own lane and and putting on for his people and, right. and his friends. I love what he's doing. I thought you were talking like Drake, because <laughs> you know um, Drake is like um, the criminal uh, criminal. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what I, it's a no I mean, that's yeah. common. Yeah, I mean when, when it comes when it comes to like probably like like um wealth and you know just not having to worry about anything anymore. Yeah, yeah. of course it would be Drake. Right. But right. um as far as like um as far as like really t- tapping in Drake isn't really tapping into like our city and our music, our sound and stuff like that. But, right. Um, you know, so what's with, here with now? This, yeah. Right here and now. What do you, yeah, what's the word success mean to you? What is success mean to you? What is success to me? Because mm-hmm. everybody has their own definition of success, but what is it to you? Um, just, just my name being mentioned on every corner of the world. Mm-hmm. Um, um, you know, sold out, sold out concerts, and 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 just and 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 like having a great support system to fall back on um building my empire um like 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 an empire like this i always think about after after rapping or after like let's say like a plan b like let's say if i don't make it in rapping my plan b i have i'm gonna open up a store for sneak for you know selling sneakers and streetwear (laughs) right stuff like that so it's i don't i don't i don't consider um i don't I don't necessarily consider me not getting signed or not doing music unsuccessful. Anything else that I, I put my mind to, like the sneakers and stuff like that, anything I else wanted to do, I consider that successful too. Like open up a store. If I open up a store, I consider that successful. You know. Right. But on the music you, aspect, right. music aspect, yeah, I want everybody to know my name. That's you don't success. have the store right now for the like online stuff? No. Oh, oh, oh absolutely. I started. Okay. Uh, dom- I just, I just got my domain. I'm, I'm building it. Um, shout out to my homeboy Yo P. He's, um, he really. Um, he's really deep into that, so I'm about to really tap into him about all of that stuff. He's really like has his emails and uh, websites and stuff like that. So very, very soon, very soon. I have inventory for it too. So yeah. What's the name of the store? Or 
Is um, it out? Hyper Souls. Hyper Souls. Hyper Souls. Yeah. Hyper Souls with a Z. S O L E. Z. Okay. Hyper Souls. Yeah. Yeah, All right. We, I got I to gotta check that out. Yeah. You I got you. I, I wear, look, it's crazy. It's the last, I'll say about three years, I realized that I could wear kids, right? <laughs> kids, <thing. laughs> So look, like, I went in this store because I wear a 10. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. And then it was like, well, you, let me see if we got something in the girl, the little kids. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> look, so I wear a seven and the kids, like just yeah. right here. Mm-hmm. And I get the cheap sneakers. <laughs> Yep. Yep. Yeah, I'll be, be like, y'all got the kids in a second? I'll be like, the kids in a second. You know, Listen, I know are... I shit, but I don't care. Nah, <laughs> sneakers time. are expensive now. They're expensive now. Sneakers they are. are. Very expensive now. It doesn't matter what size, what, what age, they're expensive now. Yeah. What's the most expensive sneaker you have? Um, um, uh, n- sneakers, I have, um, off white fives. My what? off-white fives. My off-white fives. Off-white fives. Yeah, okay. off-white fives. Mm. Um, those were about nine hundred bucks. I didn't what? pay nine. Yeah, I didn't pay nine hundred bucks. Right. But um, they're the price that. So if you was to sell them now, they'll probably be like five. Oh yeah, I can sell them for about five because I wore them already. Mm. But um, I traded um two pair of sneakers and cash on top. So I traded um mm. a pair of ones, a pair of Yeezys. And so cash, and I got my, I got. Who's it? Don'ts of a sneaker, like huh? a do and a don't. Like you can't do this, and you're not supposed to do this with a sneaker. Um, do's and don'ts. Mm-hmm. Do's and don'ts. Maybe one of each. Yeah, like you don't. Yeah, you, you can't wash a sneaker like something like that. Yeah, you can't wear your sneaker <laughs> on the beach. In the, in the washing machine back yeah. in the day. You know, you yeah. Throw them no, some sneakers are built in the washing machine. There's like stuff now where you could throw sneakers in your washing machine. But okay. do's and don'ts for sneakers. Um, I could tell you a sneaker that you're not supposed to buy. Um, black uptown. Really? Black Air Force Ones. Wow. You, mm, they're, they're like a no go. Black Air Force Ones are like a no go. Okay. They're like the they're like the underarms of sneakers. They're like the <laughs> the underarm of a sneaker. <laughs> oh my god! I never they're heard like, that before. That's yeah. The black white ones, ones, right? Oh, absolutely. But absolutely. the black ones is a there. No you go. A do this. There you go. Do's and don'ts. White okay. uptowns are a do. Black uptowns are a don't. Okay. Yeah. Um. You don't. You you never tie. You never. You don't really tie your your sneakers now. Some most sneakers you don't really tie them. They look funny. You know, I'm supposed to like tie your shoes. I tie mine. Why? Yeah. You don't really tie your shoes anymore. The kids, right? Yeah. (laughs) What am I supposed to do with it? I'm supposed to tuck it. Lace them to the top. Lace them to the top. top. Or or find something to find something to look good. Do some tutorials, please, because there you go. Get some tutorials. Mm Mm-hmm. No, you do them. You don't. If I, if I, I, I was really gonna do that too. But when I have problems, like if I have like an outfit and like like a pair of shoes that I really don't know what to wear with, I would go on um some like a a, a page on Instagram called Fits on Point, or mm-hmm. or I'll go on um on YouTube and find like like how to actually put the shoe together, and it it always it always works. I wish basketball player he actually wears his tied. I think it was um, uh, what you call it? He just passed away. Um, he wear he wears. He, I think he said he was tying his. He said, "I don't give a fuck. I'm still tying my sneaker." Um, Kobe, was I think it was. was it Kobe? I think it was him. I gotta find out because I I remember because I was like, "Yeah, well, oh, Kobe no, basketball Kobe. players they tie their shoes." When yeah. you play basketball, you gotta tie your shoes. Yeah, basketball players yeah, tie yeah. shoes. But fashion wise, like casual wise, nah, you don't yeah. tie a pair of Jordan ones. I just, I just tied my sneak. Look, don't laugh at me, but I tucked these ones in today, so I'm not, <laughs> don't get on me too hard. <laughs> and I, and I bought these like years ago, and this is the first time. Um, oh, those are cool. Okay, so, those are cool. But look, it got this long. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And a shoestring in the back. So these ones, you I gotta do this with sweatpants. Those, those are those are definitely sweatpants sneakers. These I could kick somebody's brain out with them. <laughs> Literally, 
be like, uh, uh, uh. it has Stop to be a sweat. <laughs> but like, yeah, but um, <laughs> yeah, but my 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 off white fives, I would say those are most my most expensive sneakers. I have like um Dior's and stuff like that, but sneaker wise, oh, excuse me, so, okay. right, please. <laughs> yeah, I, I put some stuff on your page because you know that would be entertaining. Yeah, <laughs> and incorporate it with the whole music thing. That would be yeah. so dope. You yeah, know, I'm like, really gonna uh, look into that. I'm gonna look into that. My next video. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. look into that. I'm gonna make because you know the tutorials they make a they, they get a lot of exposure. Yeah, you know, how to videos. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be dope. You know. Okay. Well, is there anything else that you want to let everybody know about? I know that music is out. Know where to get it. Um, it's I got my music on all platforms. Um, Slick Talk Swizzy. Um, I got music on all platforms. I got a hit single out. Um, with um, uh, with Remo Van Press called Same Nigga. Um, I have a project called What I Want coming out with um, S five fifty. Um, it's gonna be on all platforms. Yeah, and look out for the video. The video should be out um by next week. Um, okay. shout out Meet the Connect again. Um, Stack Pesos, really dope director. Um. Uh, yeah, I just appreciate you for this opportunity, you know. Oh, love. You scared to put it out around Valentine's Day because people moving and shaking on Valentine's Day. You're not scared. You said what? You're not scared to do it on Valentine's Day? It's, around it's some, that time? I'm going to do it somewhere around there. Somewhere, it's going to be somewhere around there. Okay. Well, I'm going to be looking um, and that, and I'm waiting for the tutorials, of course, you know. Yeah. I'm really that I'm gonna do that. I'm I'm really looking to. Yeah, yeah, you gonna do well with that because they love speakers and you gonna you gonna do well. Thank so you. I appreciate. It. Appreciate you. Thank you for being on time and coming through. Thank you. Okay, I'll talk to you appreciate soon. It. Okay. You got the website. <laughs> yeah, I had fun with him. Oh man, I I wish he could have do some tutorial stuff like that. That'd be really dope. Um, really excited to see all that stuff. You know what I mean? If he do a raffle, I'm definitely gonna buy one because I do well at raffles. I usually win, so <laughs> I didn't win so many things with raffles. So I love raffles. I love doing raffles myself. So hope he does that and um. Stay connected with him. Um, this interview will be live in a few seconds. Um, go check out the website air.radio. You guys check out Talk Slick. Um, Slick Talk with uh Twizzy right here on air.radio. And go check out his Instagram and check out his new video that he got coming out soon. You know what I'm saying? So air.radio is back. <laughs>